Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 135, end of uh, September. Rolling through, we're already in fall, all that kind of good stuff. Wix 4 rolls on, rolls on. Uh, as always, these meetings are being recorded for those of you that aren't here with us right here, right now. Uh, we'll do triage first. Um, Bob has already done a little mop-up on things that are not bugs, I noticed, so that will make it shorter. Um, again, I'll talk about Wix 4 status, because that keeps rolling on. Um, at least on my side, and we'll talk about that. And then uh, we'll do questions and comments. So I expect this will be another uh, pretty quick meeting in the end. So, Bob, ready for triage? Let's go. Let's go. We're down to three, and two of them are already assigned to people. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Um, oh, I got my mouse cursor back. That's nice. All right. Uh, Wix 3.11 does not uninstall previous version of Embedded Battle, all yada, yada, yada. And I think that's yes. still set. Oh, we got an answer. No, it's August. No, okay. that was August. Yeah. yeah. No, it confirmed the workaround is good. Uh, just, it's already assigned to me. Let's just take it into Wix 4 because I, you know, we need some kind of behavior change. We want, you know, the burn protocol to be effective for progress notification. So uh, there needs to be some kind of code change here. Cool. Um, and just give it to me. Oh, I've already given it to myself in Wix 4 and we can. Uh, carry on, carry on. Uh, I'll, yeah, do that. Sweet. Localized Kazakh. Kazakh? I don't know. Kazakh. 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 Oh, all right. Kazakh. I didn't even know that we had this. I, these are the contributions. Um, code page of UTF-8, and it worked. <laughs> Funny. Um, the standard code page of 1251 may not have all the characters. Oh, a stream was provided as not available in that code page. Ah, oh, bummer. And then he went to UTF-8 and did that. Um, I say funny because just before the meeting I was showing some experiments I was doing with Wix generating UTF-8 MSIs in Wix 4 um, and these subtle differences between them. Should I bring that back up? Maybe I can bring that back up. Just sure. How strangely apropos, and I really did not know that this was going to work out like this. There we go. Look at the dialogues. All right. So all of you watching on YouTube, um, I'm sorry because I don't think I upload a 4G, whatever, 4 HD, HD4, what is it called? 4 whatever, something. Um, 4K. Thank you. 4K. I knew there was another letter in there. Oh. I was just stuck. <laughs> Ah, Sean of the Rescue. So anyway, you may not be able to tell the differences here, but the one on the top is a code page zero um, MSI, and or you know it could be 1220, 1252, or any other language that has all the ASCII characters in it. And the bottom one then is a UTF-8 MSI. And if you stare at it for a while, um, and if you look at the differences here, I have where I copied out the text and copied out the text and then copy it out a tiny little bit more of the top text and a tiny little bit more of the bottom text. I think if you look closely, you'll see that the font is a little different in UTF-8. And rumor has it that in older versions of the Windows installer, this is Windows 8, 1, and I don't know if it's Vista or XP, um, both of which I'm not sure how much I care about. Uh, the standard dialog, to which this was, is one, can sometimes get like, you know, squares and stuff in them. Um, so anyway, this is what looks like a UTF-8. So I think it's, it's, I don't know what to think about this. So we could set the code page to UTF-8 for this localization file, knowing that it'll make your other dialogues a little bit different. I don't know what else it is. I, I would suggest we, you know, see what it looks like on Windows 7. If Windows 7 is good, then yeah, you know, I'm I'm fine with UTF-8 as you know for this and for as a default. I think it'd be fine as a default. Even you can go there for a default. Mm -hmm. All right. As long as Windows 7 is okay. And, and again, this is yeah. You know, we've we've seen before, and determining the version is a problem with you know human memories. Um, we've seen before where the progress UI, the progress dialog in a basic MSI UI mm -hmm. um, when the code page is UTF-8 is bad. Right. 
they pick a bad font or you get the you know the unicode squares right um that that would be bad if it's if that happens on windows 7 right um if it happens on windows xp i or vista for that matter both of which are out of support i'm fine with that yeah i'm pretty sure because fine with 7. I, i'm i'm sure you're not talking about removing the abilities at the code page no 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 just what the default so there you go. The default right now is zero, and I don't know what that gets you um, in the end. Hey, ASCII was good enough for many, many years. I think is it ASCII? Should, I, 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 it might turn into 1252. Mm, uh, don't know. Hmm. All right. Uh, I guess give this to me. We're not fixing this in 311. We can fix it in 4. All right. Or, I don't think we're not going to fix this in 314. No, there's a workaround. As long as it means people only support OSIS, they may have to assign a value. That's correct. If we change the default, um, they would have to go and set their code page explicitly. So give it to me. I'll go take a look at it um, on Windows 7 as I continue to experiment with UTF 8 and MSIs and what we want to do there. Um, uh, I've given it to you, however, for some... Oh, no, wait, there it is. Uh, I think GitHub has been uh, slow and whatnot today. All right. I couldn't set the milestone there for a minute. Okay, so this is a bug opened by somebody about the, the what, final dialogue looking wrong? Yes. Yeah, this is, this is probably something that came about when we added multiple result messages uh, in okay. Wix standard BA back in 3-something, three 3.9, nine, three ten. Well, it looks like Sean has already jumped on it, so I think we have our answer to this. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Um, I also know you have a pull request out there. Um, I've been trying to race to get my, my code and setup checked in, and I'm just struggling with my last little bit of Wix lips, but I need to go talk about the next... Slide, not this slide. So anyway, let's give it a shot. Let's toss it 4.0. And uh, I don't know what this is, burn? I don't know if it's an extension or burn, but I'm sure we want to look at it. Yeah, it's file extension. All right, file extension. All right. And we uh, actually have a, a label for work standard BA. All right, look at that. We look organized today. All right, hmm. carrying on into Wix 4. So Wix 4 status. Um, I have another Sunday session that I forgot to push the publish button on. I'm getting bad at that. Um, that was from a couple weeks ago now, so I will push that button after this meeting, um, where we go through and actually set up the setup repo, which was pretty awesome. And then uh, at the end of that, we needed to go back and add support for Wix libs and things like that, and building MSIs and things like that to the core tool set. So that's what I've done. Um, and I've got m almost all of that working. I just need to now verify that it builds MSIs for the Wix tool set um, well enough which will then get us basically going from all the way from one end to the other end of building MSIs. We do not have burn and we don't have all the extensions done, so they're not the final output from the for Wix 4, but they certainly are. Uh, we have an end-to-end -end kind of thing, so it's not a matter of uh, filling in the blanks. Also, as part of that session, which unfortunately was not recorded because I walked off to get lunch and then we started talking about what we're going to do this, and I forgot to start the recording button. Um, we talked a lot about how to handle burn um, and things like that. So I think and extensions, and I think we have a good um, a good answer for how burn and extensions are going to roll out from here. Uh, so that's going to be uh, awesome because that I think will finish out the bulk of the repositories and we'll be on our way of just, all right, cool, go fix the code that needs to be in the code. Of course, before we fix that burn code, um, Sean, we will get your pull request in. Um, don't worry. Um, or we'll find a way to move it. Not a big deal. Um, also, the .NET Core questions, I actually was on Microsoft campus this last week, um, previous week, I guess now, uh, and got a number of my random questions about not .NET Core um, answered. They are, I think I've uncovered some gaps in their um, behavior, which is not completely surprising and not completely the end of the world either. So, uh, but have an understanding is one of those, well, I think I need to do this, 
but that doesn't seem quite right, and if I don't have to, I'd like to not. And I got like emo to say, no, nope, yeah, that looks like a problem. You'll have to do it that way, and we should think about what that means. So um, that's all going well, I guess, in the end, you could say. Um, and the last thing is compiler modernization. So um, I've been making progress as I've been adding support for Wix libs to the build. You remember, I guess, two weeks ago, the discussion was that we could build MSIs. Um, and I don't remember if we mentioned, if I mentioned that time, but the MSIs built could be open in Orca but could not be installed. That bug was tracked down to, if you heard us talking about, setting the UTF-8 as the summary information stream, which turns out is not supported by Olay structure storage files. So once that got set back to 1252 by default and all that, then everything was working great. So with the Wixlib support, that will be available today, tomorrow kind of thing. Um, it's a matter of iterating in the setup project, and I think we'll have MSIs building. Now that won't get us anything shipping until we have burn, but that's pretty pretty good having the MSI's building again. Um, it does prove the end-to-end, -end, and it's it's pretty nice when working in it. I'm, I have to say I'm pretty happy just being able to w operate within one little repository and not have to think about um, the other things, and it you know it's nice and small blocks of code you get to work on. Um, it's cool. So, compiler modernization will be post that, and we will be talking about that uh, soon. I know I've been saying it's coming soon. Well, now it's coming very soon. I really do expect in the next meeting we are talking about that. So Jacob has brought up that he'd like to jump in on one of these sessions. Um, I don't know about this Sunday. I've been a single parent for most of this week. Uh, so I need to go sync with my, my life and figure out uh, what's going to happen this weekend if I can do another Sunday session. I'd like to, but I don't know if it's going to work this weekend. Um, so I will send out more mail uh, probably on to Wix devs on Friday or worst case Saturday. So look for that um, to say, hey, yeah, we're going to do another Sunday session or not. Um, I gave it a 60% uh, chance right now that it'll happen because they've been productive uh, for me in getting a lot of things done. So that's Wix 4 status. It's getting very close to being um, – not quite back where it was before, but oh man, things are so cool now on .NET Core 2, and a lot of the things are straightened out. It's it's getting quite quite nice. Probably will want to maybe come back one of these days and walk through um, all the cool new things in the Wix 4 code base, or maybe we'll do it on the weekend session. All right, so that's Wix 4 status. Anything else people want to talk about? Other things that have come up in the last two weeks? Uh, bugs are staying pretty good. Um, progress is being made on Wix 4, and I expect it's just going to pick up with next week or next month as a few more of these foundational things are um, locked down. Bob, Sean, you got anything else? Nope. I'm good. All right. On that note, we're going to call it a 15-minute meeting because we got started a little bit late, or 25-minute meeting. 25-minute meeting, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, Jacob's got a question, maybe. And uh, for the last conversation on Wix users, uh, if you think there should be a bug, Jacob, then um, you can open that bug. If you think it's worth it, then definitely open a bug. And we will triage it in two weeks. Because <laughs> we're not going to do it right now. Yeah, that, that's more a Windows bug. Oh. The error progress text is a workaround to a change made at some point during the Windows 10 lifetime so far. Um, I, I almost want to call it a bug in Windows. I don't know that it's strictly speaking a bug, but it's definitely a behavior change. Um, the reason we don't include the error strings is that in the past, at least, you didn't have to because Windows would automatically supply the localized messages based on the user locale mm -hmm. or presumably the user locale. Um, so if you put them in, you're going to put in the strings based on the locale of the package that you're building. Whereas without them, 
even if your package was, you know, 1033 or your product language was 1033, the, uh, you know, any, any messages that popped up would be localized. So I'm not sure it's a, I'm not sure it's something we want to do by default. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. But we can, we could also look at, um, uh, you know, maybe breaking apart that UI fragment and including, uh, I don't know, it's the same problem. I, I don't want the error messages included. Maybe, you know, you could argue the progress strings we should include, you know, or should be includable separately. Though, again, we're, we're back to the, if you include them, you're including one language. Whereas, you know, right now the, the progress messages would show up um, localized. So, probably worth a bug so that we can triage. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, then finding a bug with Windows is probably the right thing, too. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how to do that mm -hmm. without being in the insider program. Right. Well, sounds like a good thing to discuss uh, in two weeks if there's a bug open or based on where this thing goes from here. Until then, you guys take it easy. Look for our mail to Wix devs for the next weekend session. If not this weekend, probably next weekend. Um, and then uh, we'll see you at the next meeting. Bye. Bye. Bye.